Coach Sanchez, C3, California. How far are you guys from here? We're only out an hour and a half, actually. Uh, it was a good drive. We left uh, Saturday morning like at 5.45 a.m. It was only an hour and a half, and you know, just a good opportunity, you know, this close to San Diego. Do you think you guys, you know, it's modern day, right? Yeah, modern day Catholic. Modern day Catholic. It's a new program, right? Yeah, we're 10 years old. So you're 10 years old, you're a young guy, a lot yeah. of energy. Um, you want to get guys to the next level. Um, why would the C3 you know, College Combine be something you guys would be interested in coming to? Oh man, I mean, I, I've been, I've known Cliff Brightwell for like two years now, and just seeing him going across the country, knowing, you know, getting all these type of resources, college coaches, doing camps, you know, and he did a scramble camp with us down in San Diego two years now, and he, he told us about this opportunity that they're doing it here in Calvary, Calvary Chapel in California. So, you know, we at my wrestling club, we have about 35, 40 high school kids, and we're all hungry. We all want the opportunity, you know, that haven't got to the state meet, but we're like right there on the bubble. So we saw this opportunity to come here, show all these college coaches what we have, you know, hopefully get some attention for them the next upcoming season. You know, you look at uh, college, there's not a ton of Division One college wrestling in the state of California, but there's over 40 million people. Yeah. There's a, but the sport at the high school level has never been bigger. Right. You know, looking at that, what do you want to do to get guys to go to college, to, to get them to the next level? What are you guys looking for out of, uh, you know, getting guys here, scramble camps, Cliff Rattwell and compound wrestling, what do you guys want to get out of it? I just want all my wrestlers to be, to have, you know, be well-rounded in each position of wrestling, just on our feet, top, bottom, you know, every, every situation, freestyle, Greco. So I try to get them exposed to all of that, you know, and, you know, the dream is to wrestle Division One. You know, I started off, I went to junior college, went to Div Division One, and then I went to Division Two. So I've wrestled, you know, all different types of divisions in college. And to me, it doesn't matter. I mean, obviously the dream is D1, but if you're going, if you're able to do what you love, wrestle in college and get your school, you know, paid for or get your degree at the end of the day, you know, that's, that's the ultimate goal for me at my wrestling club. But you're a young dude. Yeah. You're a young looking guy. Are you a teacher? What do you do? Yeah, so I graduated from Grand Canyon University in 2013. So I'm 27 years old and uh, I, t I teach look at 15 man yeah, that's you look really young that's what I hear uh, sometimes I get you know I'm at high school campuses and people ask me what weight I'm going like I thought you were a high school kid when you came over and talked to me I was like no. why is he sending a high school kid over here <laughs> yeah so uh, I guess I'll take I guess it's a shaved face you know the, the the haircut I always get that question all the do time do you feel as youthful as you look uh, not really. <laughs> a couple years, I would say about a year ago, I hurt my back pretty bad, and it hasn't gotten better since then. So I'm like, it takes me a while to get up. You but hurt your back wrestling, didn't you? Yeah, it was wrestling. I knew it. it was I a, knew it. Some, and it was talk to these young guys; they want to do it all, man. It was off a technique. Somebody just showed a snap down, and I, as soon as I got up, I just felt stuck. And like ever since then, it's just been annoying, and it bugs me because in my head, I, I feel like oh, oh, I could do all this shiftiness like I used to. But as soon as I get my stance, and I try to get it, you know, explosive, explosive on me, I can feel my back just pull. You know, that's just that's just the only thing that's really going on. What do you teach? I teach. Uh, I taught fifth grade at Otay Ranch Arts Academy over there. Um, just pretty much all subjects. You know, helping out kids. So you're elementary head. Yeah, yeah. I'm a high school teacher. Yeah. So, but the ultimate goal is to be a PE teacher at Modern Day Catholic eventually. So that eventually, you're, but you're still staying in education. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All right. Is this is this? fit the bell is this everything you thought it was going to be is this this guy Cliff Rettwell does everything first class is this C3 what you thought it was going to be absolutely I know I know Cliff Rettwell man he he hustles and uh, you know he was talking to me for the last couple weeks about this you know saying it's going to be huge and I believed every word he was saying because you know like I said I, I follow him on social media we talk and I can just see everything that he's doing and the numbers he gets the support so I knew coming to this uh, clinic this camp this weekend it was going to blow up like it has been and you know, seeing all the college coaches here and then seeing all the talent. I mean, we got the UFC. <laughs> yeah, Mark you know, Munoz over Munoz, here. Like, NCAA champ. I you're, mean. Getting, you're getting the best right now. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'm just really blessed and happy that our, my kids are getting this type of experience.